No matter where I go in the country, my favorite plastic lure to fish is a crawfish. Everywhere in the country there's crawfish. California, New York, Texas, even here in South Florida. Taking a look at the clone crossum, you know, this lure is pro-designed as all our Profound Outdoors products are. Not all crawls are made the same. The clone crossum is formulated with boom. In other words, it's got the scent impregnated in it. It's a strong scent. It's gonna allow those bass to hold on. It's segmented. So if you wanna shorten it up, you can segment it at the first one, the second one, the third one, which is also acts as the exoskeleton, but it gives you clean cuts. If you wanna shorten it up and fish it on a football jig, you can do that or fish at its full four inch length as we did here today. Now also the head, the very front part of the crossum, obviously the head of the crawdads down here, but this is what I call the front part where I rig it at. When I bring the Texas rig hook in, I wanna have a lot of plastic there that I can get it rigged up without it ripping and tearing all the time, and that's what this one does. Now, another important feature, when you're matching it up with any tungsten weight, I want this to be real similar in size. That is a perfect fit right there. What's gonna happen when, you're, when this is falling through those weeds, it's gonna allow that to fall flawlessly. If this base was a lot thicker, it would grab. Every time it goes through something, the grass would come around this, grab the soft plastic and rip it off. And then again, if you get it too small, you're not gonna have enough plastic there to rig your, your soft plastics properly. Now, obviously the most important thing about this crawl is the legs. When it's falling, the legs really separate and they jump and that's what attracts those bass under those mats. It also has these little appendages on the side, but a perfect design to match a crawdad. We mixed up a lot of colors fishing out here today. Really, you know, the green pumpkin is something that I like regardless of where you go. We caught a lot of fish on that here, but we basically stuck to the Florida colors, what I call the dark water colors. These colors are gonna work anytime you're around a tidal system, South Florida, or around vegetation period anywhere. Black and blue swirl, this one's laminated, it's really cool. It's got a lot of different patterns and hues to it. it has a black and blue mixture in it. Now our James Tide color, named after fishing on the James River, a great tidal system. This one here is, is black with red and copper flake. I really like copper, it just gives something mixture a little bit different from the standard black and red. Now this is a really cool color. Caught a lot of our fish and caught some of our big fish on this. This is called grapevine. It's black with a purple, with a silver flake in it. It has a real cool color, real real neat mixture. And then you, just your basic June bug is gonna be dominant anytime you're in and around Florida. Taking a look at our setup, the first thing that goes on, the Bass Pro Shop sinker stop. And then we're gonna pair that with an ounce and a quarter Swampers tungsten weight. We went up to an ounce and a half, even two ounces in some of these locations, but ounce and a quarter and ounce and a half seem to work the best. Then taking a look at our rod and reel setup. This is a 7.6 extra heavy ducket rod paired with a loose speed spool super duty reel. Anytime I'm using braided line, I use this super duty. It's really geared up and it handles it well. A 4-aught Bass Pro Shops XPS hook. We're ready to go fishing.